We are looking right now, folks, at a war zone. One of the hottest, most violent, most brutal war zones in the world right now. The Syrian civil war is unfolding right over the ridge here from where we're standing uh, in the, on the Israeli side of the Golan border. This has been deserted, this town, basically, as a result of the Syrian civil war. But you had major Al-Qaeda activity here, obviously. Uh, what else do we see? I mean, you can hear the booms. Correct. Um, you can see plumes of smoke. Um, so what kind of activity is going on along here right now? What you see, there are different Syrian uh, communities scattered all in front of us. You could see some of them are very large in, in a town size. Actually, the town that you see over there, it's called Khan El Arnabe. That town sits on the road that leads straight from here, from Kunetra, all the way up to Damascus, which is about 35 kilometers from here. Yeah, we're not far from the Syrian capital. I mean, it, as Avi said, a stone's throw really from Damascus, which is also obviously a scene of some heavy fighting in and around Damascus. Correct. And another significant thing that we see in this region is that when you look, you see the line of the, the hills, the volcanic hills that are actually dominating this whole region. Yeah. So whoever dominates those hills obviously enjoy a military strategic edge. Those hills are the epic center of a constant fights going on between Assad forces backed by Iranian militias yeah. against Syrian rebels. And the Syrian rebels are divided into different groups. You have Al-Qaeda yeah. scattered here. You have Islamist affiliated Syrian groups. You have Free Syrian Army. You have ISIS people that are located yeah. not so far from here. There was a time there used to be much bigger presence of ISIS in this region. They have been pushed away from this region further down to the east. Obviously, we all understand that we are now in the midst of this enormously changing region which has a tectonic plate movement. Oh, yeah. You just very accurately described and by the way Eric I want to show you and maybe we could show the viewers. Yeah. You said so accurately before when you were talking about the challenges of the Middle East when you look today when you talk about the war in Syria and you made a very very accurate observation and the observation that you made was this is no longer a Syrian civil war. This is an open Sunni, Shiite and Iranian Arab collision stage. Right now, what we are looking at, uh, Eric, is one stage out of an eight active stages right now in the Middle East in a different level of intensity. This one is one of the highest one where you could see this Iranian Arab power struggle yeah. coming into effect. So when you yeah. talk about it, you are looking at an area that Israel is located right in the midst of this huge, huge yes. power struggle. But when you look at in the a sea ramifications, of in the sea of <laughs> madness, and when you look at the potential ramifications, this is mind blowing because yeah. as of now, relatively speaking, Israel, as of now, relatively speaking, is left intact. But yeah. that, could, that could change the next day. It could. Avi, I have a few takeaways here as you so expertly unpack the Middle East for us. Uh, number one, uh, it seems like uh, we hear a lot about Israel, obviously, and, uh, against its enemies. It seems like the main struggle going on in the region right now is between Sunni and Shia. Correct. And they are at each other's throats. You have Iran on the march, Iran and its proxies on the march on one end. You have ISIS on the march. You have the Saudis uh, trying to maintain and, and be strong. So that seems Correct. like the main struggle. The other thing that jumps out at me and is glaringly apparent, especially after you broke it down the map there, Avi, and just standing here, is that Israel is truly, truly the first line of defense for Western civilization and the last line of defense for Western civilization. Folks, if Israel goes down, we all go down. Israel is all that's holding back the barbarians at the gates, quite literally. We are standing at the gates right now, folks, here on the Golan Heights. And the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, are literally the only thing holding back the floodgates of jihad from reaching the shores of the West in a major way. And you know, and you know, Eric, to, 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 to expand the picture, I always like to, to give the, the following illustration saying, imagine that you are now sitting in the middle of the Yellowstone and it is erupting and you are having coffee and everything is fine with you. But you are sitting in the middle of the Yellowstone and it's erupting. So basically, in a way, it's kind of like illustration of what we see all around us. And as you very accurately pointed out, what we see today, the big game is the Iranian Arab power struggle. Yeah. The big game That's is the it. Sunni Shiite power, Arab uh, power struggle. Israel is located in the midst of this huge tectonic plate move. And as of now, it is, it's, it's a miracle. Yeah. 
to see yes. how much Israel was left intact. Yeah. That could change the next morning, so we have to take it into consideration. Okay. Any, any day. I mean, as you said, a few years ago, obviously, we were driving up here in the Golan. It, it's more fortified now in some areas, obviously, on the Israeli side, because you have hell on earth Correct. unfolding across the border in Syria. But things are changing so rapidly. Even, Avi, I just look at Egypt, two massive revolutions in the span of a few years. Uh, the Middle East, expect the unexpected in the Middle East. Oh, and by the way, Russia, uh, a massive nuclear power, uh, a former superpower, is now involved in the Syrian civil war. Turkey, which is a powerful player, a NATO member uh, in its own right, also carrying out airstrikes in Syria. It's all unfolding right before you folks. And Israel, as Avi said, this is, Israel is strong, but man, what a precarious position for a tiny nation to be in. Uh, surrounded by, by the wolves, the wolves of jihad and, and folks, bad actors with bad intentions who are not fans of Israel and the Jewish people, to say the least. Folks, don't go anywhere. We have much more coming up from here on the Syrian border on the edge of the world's bloodiest conflict. It's the Watchmen. It's Kufi only on TBN.